Hey there, movie enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the exciting movie. The Raid 2 is a pulse-pounding, adrenaline-fueled action masterpiece that takes the already high-octane excitement of its predecessor. The Raid Redemption to a whole new level. In The Raid 2, the film opens with a tense meeting between Bijo, a Jakarta gang lord, and Andy, who has been brutally beaten. Bijo lectures Andy about ambition and loyalty, then coldly executes him. After the events of the first film, Rama, Andy's brother, is with Bunawar and his men, determined to root out corruption in the police force and criminal organizations. Bunawar orders the killing of Lieutenant Wahyu, and Rama is asked to join an undercover team to take down corrupt cops and crime bosses. Rama initially refuses, but Bunawar warns him of the danger to his family. Bunawar presents falsified information to his superiors, hiding Rama's survival. Reza, a corrupt police commissioner, watches from the shadows, ensuring no loose ends. Rama eventually agrees to work for Bunawar after learning Bijo killed his brother. His mission is to infiltrate Bangan's criminal empire and gain Yuko's trust. Bunawar aims to expose Reza's connections to Bangan's criminal activities. Rama is tasked with assaulting a politician's son to gain Yuko's trust leading to his arrest. In prison, Rama is attacked by Yuko's men but manages to fight them off before being overpowered. Yuko tries to recruit Rama, but he declines. During a visit, Yuko's associate E.K. offers protection, but Yuko's interest in Rama is dismissed. In a courtyard, a confrontation between Yuko and rivals escalates into a riot, and Rama saves Yuko twice. Two years later, Rama is released early, and Yuko takes him to meet his father, Bangun. Bangun ensures Rama isn't a threat and offers him a penthouse. Rama calls his boss, Bunawar, and asserts his independence. Later, Rama talks to his wife. Yuko and his crew demand payment from a porn industry leader, Topan, who refuses due to drug-related issues. A violent confrontation ensues, leaving casualties. Yuko desires more power but is rebuffed by his father, Bangun. Later, Yuko mistreats women at a club, revealing his jealousy over his father's empire. Rama plants a wire in Yuko's wallet during a call. Meanwhile, Prokoso, Bangan's trusted hitman, carries out a deadly mission. Rama warns Bangan about trust and ambition, and it's revealed he killed Topan. Bangan assigns Rama to watch over Yuko closely. Bijo contacts Yuko with a plan to spark a war between Bangan and Gotu. Over dinner, Bijo demonstrates his ruthlessness by having Yuko execute five former prisoners. Bijo sees Bangan as weak, while Gotu is ruthless. Yuko notices a suspicious tattoo on one of the prisoners but proceeds with the killings. Bijo suggests they must kill someone significant in Bangan's family. Rama overhears their conversation and witnesses Yuko's alliance with Bijo, the man who killed his brother. Prokoso, a hitman, meets his ex-wife but leaves early after receiving a message from Yuko. At a club, Prokoso fights Bijo's henchman and is betrayed by Yuko, who allows Prokoso to be killed by Bijo's assassin. Yuko pretends the Japanese killed Prokoso, demanding retribution. Bangun refuses to disrupt peace. Rama tries to calm Yuko but fails. Yuko calls Bijo to proceed with their plan, and Bijo sends three assassins to target Goto's family members. The assassin kills his target in the fields where Andy died. Hammer Girl takes down Gotu's gangsters on a train and kills her target. Baseball Batman slaughters Gotu's goons and kills his target brutally. Rama gets into a taxi, but he's attacked by a group of attackers who turn out to be Reza's crooks. He fights them off and realizes they have police identification. At a meeting between Bangun and Gotu, they are ordered to repair their truce or disband their families. Bangun takes responsibility for his son's actions, angering Yuko. Rama calls his boss, Bunawar, and learns he was never investigating Bangun but Reza. He's frustrated by Bunawar's changing mission. Bangun beats Yuko for his involvement in the feud with Gotu. Bijo and the assassin arrive to confront Bangun. Yuko, tearful, betrays his father and shoots him dead. E.K. tries to intervene but is shot by Yuko. Rama arrives, fights Bijo's henchmen but is defeated by the assassin. Bijo orders Rama to be taken away for later killing. E.K. watches as Rama is taken in a car and pursues them. He collides with the car Rama is in, starting a car chase. Rama fights his captors, escapes, 
and joins E.K. in his car. They both survive, while Bijo's henchmen are killed. In Goto's office, he learns of Bangan's death, Yuko's betrayal, and Bijo's involvement. Goto declares war on Bijo, Yuko, Reza, and the syndicate. Keiichi is shocked, but Goto warns that Reza and his crooks are no longer cops. E.K., bleeding to death, reveals he knows Rama is an undercover cop and was one too. He urges Rama to end the conflict by taking out everyone involved. E.K. dies, and Rama drives away. Rama calls Bunawar and learns E.K. betrayed them, causing the deaths of ten cops. Reza is on his way to meet Bijo and Yuko for a new business venture. Rama asks about his family's safety, and Bunawar assures him they're protected. Rama heads to Bijo's restaurant, where he fights Bijo's men. Yuko notices a wire on Bijo and realizes Bijo's treacherous intentions. Bijo orders his henchmen to kill Rama. Rama defeats them and moves on to face baseball bat man and hammer girl. He kills hammer girl, and in a brutal fight, he defeats baseball bat man. In the kitchen, Rama battles the assassin, eventually overpowering him and slashing his throat, killing him. Injured and bloodied, Rama barges into the dining room where Bijo, Yuko, and Reza are. He grabs a knife from the assassin's corpse, kills two guards, and fights the third. Bijo tosses a shotgun to Reza, but Yuko takes it and shoots and kills Reza accidentally. Bijo gets another shotgun, accidentally kills his henchman, and fires at Rama, who takes cover. Yuko shoots Bijo in the leg and shoulder. Yuko finishes Bijo by dropping a wire on him and shooting his head, causing it to explode. Yuko then tries to kill Rama behind a couch, shooting relentlessly. But Rama seizes the moment, jumps up, throws the knife, and wounds Yuko. In a final struggle, Rama stabs Yuko, killing him. Rama leaves the dining room, and Bunua rushes to Bijo's restaurant. Rama returns to the warehouse, where Keiichi and his men await him. They have a conversation, and Rama ultimately declines Keiichi's offer to join the Japanese, simply stating, No, I'm done. In conclusion, The Raid 2 is a must-watch for action film enthusiasts. It combines a gripping story with astonishing martial arts choreography to create an unforgettable cinematic experience. If you're looking for a high-octane, heart-pounding movie that delivers on all fronts, The Raid 2 should be at the top of your watch list. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the content and found it valuable. If you did, we kindly ask you to consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll become part of our community, gaining access to more exciting videos, informative content, and engaging discussions. It's the best way to stay updated with all our latest releases and be the first to know when we publish something new. Subscribing to our channel is absolutely free, and it helps us tremendously in reaching a wider audience and producing even better content for you. Plus, it shows us that you appreciate what we do, and that means the world to us.